So in general, it's not advisable to have a patient on oral spironolactone while they're pregnant. We want to avoid that. But there really doesn't need to be a large washout period beforehand. The half-life of oral spironolactone is very short. It's less than 24 hours. So usually what I tell patients is when you stop your contraception, when you stop your birth control pill, or when you're actively trying to become pregnant, that's when you should stop your spironolactone. Um, if you have a patient who should inadvertently become pregnant on spironolactone, it's always good to consult with uh, your local gynecologist or your patient's gynecologist. I, quite frankly, I've had other gynecologists tell me that they aren't concerned and that they even use spironolactone in some cases for preeclampsia, which is a condition that they treat during pregnancy. So although I try to my best to have patients avoid pregnancy while they're on spironolactone, they don't need to stop the spironolactone for weeks or days or months before they try to conceive. Just really, I tell them, when you're going to try to conceive, stop your spironolactone.